Here goes. Think of this as like my uh, I don't know if you saw Dan when they were when they were playing Gang Runs where they were playing um, uh, what is it um, uh, fuck the Wind Waker when he was talking about how he was on meds and he threw his meds into the fucking river. There was a no, whole story no. about that. He basically was like on like depression pills his whole life and then he was just like I don't fucking need these and he fucking threw it in the river where he was at. And I was like wow that's fucking awesome. And like he basically like overcame like his depression. I was like, that's fucking crazy. And he like talked about it on, on the show, and everybody goes to that episode. Is like, this is like one of the best things ever. Like, it's so deep, but like, so like personal and so true. It's like, like, yeah, like that that episode is cool. Think of it like that for this. But basically, yeah. So that that whole reason is part of the reason that's why I'm in the <laughs> anyway. Because he was so pissed off about that trip. He basically lamented on that for an entire month, and then like on his birthday. So the field trip was in April. And then his birthday was in May. He just was so pissed off about it. He just harbored it in. And then he basically took it out on me. And that's a crystal star. Yeah, I, I wanted to comment on that. But, like, we're in the middle of your thing. No, it's but cool. real quick, that Waffle House menu ain't shit. Because clearly. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, right, right, right. So, um, crystal stars can be randomized. They don't do anything. Um, I can collect it. I want to roll it. I want to roll it so bad. What, like, you know. What, re-roll it? Yeah, like, fucking leave the room or something. Like, it's okay. such a waste. Okay, I'll do it after I fight him. We're already out here struggling. Why throw away pennies? But yeah, like, I... Yeah, um... He basically just took it out on me the other day. It was like his birthday and he took it out on me. Fucking birthday. Yeah, it was crazy too. Like, basically, so the story goes, right? He was basically just pissed off that day for whatever reason he was taking it out on his then fiance he was on the phone with he came to my room and he started yelling at me a couple times he was yelling at me at dinner and then toward that evening i was like sitting just doing my homework or whatever he comes in the room again he starts yelling at me again he's just pissed off and then he's like what are you gonna do about it are you gonna challenge me or whatever and then he basically like because i was just i was just pissed because he kept coming to my room like five six different times yelling at me about some random stuff that he was pissed off about and I basically that that whole moment there was like a split decision in my life and it would determine the course of where I was gonna go for the rest of my life. And I honestly think back on it and I'm like, had I not done what I did, I have no idea where I'd be right now. Like I don't even know what I'd be doing. He basically challenged me and I swung at him. And then he proceeded to almost kill me. <laughs> and uh oh, fuck that badge. And then yeah, uh I managed to escape. Grandmother called the police, and all of a sudden, fuck that bitch. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> um, the next day, my mom comes, picks me up, and I'm about to head up to there. Oh, shoot. Don't dox me. I just dox myself. Cut that out. Edit that out. I move up to my mom. Buddy, <laughs> buddy. Oh, wait a minute. No, you might do, You might need to cut that out because... The, I am. <laughs> I mean, I mean the, the, place, the place is small. Please cut, please cut. My it man. is, yeah. Oh, we, I'm I live in a very small, like, we have, like, like, the population is, like, a million at best. <laughs> <laughs> like, in the entire state. <laughs> but, yeah, nah, it, it was crazy, um, the whole thing that happened. I don't know, I remember the last thing I said to you guys before that was, like, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. I think it was a Monday when that happened. I was like, I'll see you guys on Tuesday, and then and that, that didn't happen. So, and then after a while, I was just like, I'll just, uh... I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. I, it took me a minute to text you guys, like, everything that was going on. And, yeah, my, my entire life just went in a completely different direction. Now I'm here. And, honestly, I, I'm better for it, honestly. I'm glad you went to your mom. Because mm -hmm. I feel like you started having more fun. I am. <laughs> like, literally, the, mo the moment you went there... You just completely started having a lot more fun. You could you could clearly see it. Like it's a stark difference between how I met you and how you are now. It's like when I first met you, it felt like you didn't really know exactly how to express yourself. It's like someone was like, "Yeah, so like, what do you like?" And you were like, "Oh, me." Yeah. You're like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I, think I like this, you know. Mm. That was very know. much. That's very much very real. I was just like, I was very timid. I was very shy, I was very, like, to myself, but I wanted to express myself, I wanted to be out there, I wanted to be, 
But I didn't know how to do that. And honestly, I didn't know who I was because everything I was was self-projected from everything that my dad did to me or wanted me to, you know, whatever, you know, all of that stuff. So I'm going to fail this question. I already know I am. I'm just say, no, say do, you, do you remember the answers? Because I sure as fuck No, don't. I never do. And I've played this game so many times and I know that I'll never get it right. I think that's, I think you can't get that right. I don't know. 75 at minimum. You said that. <laughs> 70, yeah, 75 at minimum. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know, like, I, I don't know. And then every time, like, I tried to, like, do anything for myself or any time I tried to, like, if I was curious in anything or if I wanted to express something and I presented it to my dad, it would always get squished down. Like, I remember one time, and I'm just a kid, you know, I'm just a kid. I remember one time I, like, drew the official art of Mario from, like, New Super Mario Bros. DS. I was like, oh, cool, I can draw. Like, that was really cool. I, I, I didn't know I could do that. I wonder what else I can do. But it was I just, think I remember that. Yeah. And it, it was just like, I'm just taking this one simple thing. I'm just experimenting with it. But like, I'm, I'm drawing something that I like and something that I think is cool to me. And I show it to him and he immediately dismisses it. He's like, because he sees everything as like the worst case scenario or something that's like, like, why would you think about it that way? He saw that as like worship. And I'm like, I'm Bro. what? It's just it's just a drawing. Like it's just a drawing. It's not I'm not fucking bowing down to fucking Nintendo. I'm just drawing a picture of Mario. Like and even then it's not even that fucking deep. I'm like literally like a ten year old kid. Your fucking ten year old run up with a picture he drew with crayon and shit. Right and, and your dad is just like Is that your god? Right. Like, <laughs> I don't understand. Right. I don't <laughs> Thank you. It's just, it was, uh, like, it's never meant for you to understand. This shit is, that's, that's how, that was my life 24-7. And then I remember, he also, like, I remember finding it in the trash. He threw it away in the trash. And I was like, damn. So it was just stuff like that. So when I found out that I could rap, and remember that, remember when we were in that social studies class, and we did that one rap, it was around, like, May of, like, that, of, what was it, of that year that we were in eighth grade? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I forgot her name. I forgot her name. I know Me what you're talking about. Though. Yeah, I forgot her name. That's not important. The important thing is, <laughs> um, that's how I found out. Well, that was the second time that I rapped, but that was the first time that I was just like, oh shoot, I can really do this for real. Because like it's the first like energy for real, for real. <laughs> uh, go through pipe. Because like the first time I kind of rapped was like in the fifth grade, and uh, that was like a it was a, it was a weird rap. I was rapping for like one of my teacher's birthdays or whatever. And it was just whatever. But then I, you know, that time I took it seriously in the eighth grade, and I was like, I want to see if, like what I can do with this. And that summer when I went up to my mom's, I like practiced and I did a whole bunch of stuff. I was trying to find beats. I was writing down words. I was doing a whole bunch of stuff. And I was like, I'm actually pretty good, and I want to keep doing this. I want to keep going. My dad did not know that I was rapping or that I could rap for probably like four years. When I moved up here to my mom's, that he called me on the phone one time and I was like, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could rap. I was like, yeah, whatever. But like, I didn't, I didn't want to tell him because like, I didn't want him to steal that from me. I didn't want him to steal my joy in that. Cause I was just like, this is something I really enjoy. But it was just like with other stuff too, like not even just with drawing, but like baseball. And that was the thing, like my family, we come from a long line of like baseball players, so, like my uncle, actually played for the LA Dodgers in the 60s as shortstop and he actually pioneered stealing bases and I was like that's fucking cool that's so awesome and I remember watching like clips of him play like back in the day like on TV like on actual like national TV and like seeing all his papers he has a whole stadium in DC named after him I'm like yo this is fucking cool yes <laughs> uh, this is this is fucking cool see power jump next <laughs> But this is cool. <laughs> I said no more power plus. No more power. Mmm. 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 Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It gives me a plus three though. So I can either do this, or I can just do a normal jump for four, or I can do power jump for four. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but I also, guess. In, but also spend FP to do the same amount of attack power. I'll I'll do it. I'll show you. I'll do it. No, 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 you're making sense. Oh, okay. Because it's just the plus three multiple, it was just the plus three attack. So, okay, power jump is the other one. 
I think I'm yeah. thinking of like multi bounce. Multi bounce, which is actually what I was supposed to get from this box. Um, I think oh, yeah. Sadness. Yeah, but yeah, that and then power power jump. Yeah, well, power jump is I can just buy that whenever, but uh, I don't remember where you naturally get power jump from, if if at all, if you can. But yeah, I think you're also thinking of power bounce. Yeah. Yeah, my I was just like, no, nah, like baseball is cool, and I remember we played. I played baseball, I think, in the fourth grade, mm -hmm. one year, and I was so hyped to go. I, I really wanted to do it. I I played that one year, and I probably went to like maybe three games in the entire season, because my dad was just like, he would either make excuses for why I couldn't play, even though he signed me up for it, and I really wanted to do it. Um, he was just like, there's something going on with the team in the background. I didn't care about that shit. I didn't know what was going on. I guess with the coach or whatever. Damn, I tried it. Um, so wait a minute. That's just the weirdest shit. Your yeah. Dad is on the weirdest shit. It's just so it's so fucking dumb. But like, it was either like stuff like that, or he would make excuses like like he didn't want. I guess he personally didn't want to go to practice, or like he didn't want to go to the games and stuff. And I'm like, I feel like I'm letting the team down. Also, I want to play baseball because. It's a family thing, and I want to see how it works. But, like, it was either that. Like, I guess he was just too lazy to go. Or something was going on in the background that I didn't know about that I didn't really care about. Um, or he would just be like, we can practice at home. And we practice at home, but we just basically just threw, like, a not baseball or whatever in the backyard. And um, that was about it. But I made it to, like, maybe three games that entire season. And I really wanted to play. But he also blamed my asthma as a reason for why I couldn't go either. And I'm like, but you grew out of your asthma. Why can't I try to maybe do the same thing or whatever? Because he had asthma too as a kid. But he played baseball. So I'm like, why can I not do the same thing? Why is it just, why am I incapable of doing the same thing if you literally did that thing that you said that I can't do? Like, I just don't understand at all. And even then, asthma's not even, I don't know. Like, I get asthma's a problem. Because, like, my asthma is, like, triggered by, like, pollen and weed and dust or whatever the fuck. But, like, I feel like that shouldn't be the only reason for why I can't play a sport or whatever. I, mean, but, like, honestly, I really don't think that's a valid reason. It really, it's really I not a valid reason. reason. Yeah, as far, as far as that shit goes, he, um, he just had a lot, a lot of deeper problems that he just, I guess, was not taking care of at all. No. So, that, I mean, it's unfortunate, but... That's like the only way I can explain this shit, because none of it makes any sense. It has to be a mental issue. And I still, to this day, just don't understand a lot of it. Um, I mean, technically, it's not for us to understand, actually. Yeah. There are some working theories, but I'm not going to get into those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. At the same time, like, as much as I wish to live with my mom, like, ever since I was six, so, like, again, backstory, um... My mom left my dad when I was six years old, like when I moved to or whatever. I don't care anymore. Yeah, there was there was a lot of stuff that happened with that too. Oh yeah, well I wish that um, like for a lot of my life, I think probably ever since I was like maybe like nine years old, um, I had always wished to live with my mom because every time I was at my mom's and like you said, like when I was around you guys, like it just felt like I wasn't comfortable being myself, which was definitely like a thing. Um, when I was with my mom, I always felt like I could be myself. Like, I always said that I was home away from home. I could just be there. I could just chill out. I could do whatever. Or just, like, say what I needed to say or do what I needed to say. Also, BB Boys! <laughs> Woo! So. But yeah, fucking I always felt like important, I... Important <laughs> fucking confessional venting. <laughs> and he's just like, BB Boys! <laughs> You gotta admit that's I gotta do it. It's cool. All right. Well, I don't know. I, when I was with my mom, I always felt like I could just be myself and like that I actually mattered in a lot of ways. Like I would go see family members appear or you know just just allow myself to just discover who I was comfortably without having to have the close eye of a helicopter parent around me or whatever. You know that didn't make any bullshit excuses for why I couldn't do things or whatever. And have this newfound sense of freedom for about three months out of the year anytime I went to go visit her. And my mom would always stand up and vouch for me for things too, whenever it came to my dad and whatever the fuck he was doing. So, 
I remember, ooh, I remember one day my mom came to visit visit us for Mother's Day, I think. And um, my, my dad was just upset that, I think my room was like a mess or whatever, I don't know. Or like I just didn't have things organized. And I'm like probably in my early teens at this point. Um, and he's just like complaining about it or whatever. Like, your room's always this, this, that, I got it. And then my mom's like, well, instead of just yelling and complaining about it, why don't you actually, like, help him or do something about it? Or, like, make a suggestion or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, why not? So, like, my mom suggested we get bins for, like, a bunch of the stuff that I have. And I'm like, yeah, let's do that. And then he, like, kind of co-signed. I think he tried to co-sign it or whatever. And I'm like, you can't fucking co-sign that. You were sitting here complaining the entire time until somebody came up with an idea. And... Guess who actually went to go get bins with me that same day to help me in my room? Oh. My mom. Wow. Yeah, she she went. She went to the fucking store with me and like we got bins. I still have those bins. But I say all that to say she was very supportive in everything that I in everything that I tried to do or wanted to do, even if it was like like, oh, okay, so you have a problem, let's solve it together. Let's find a solution let's not just sit here and think of the worst case scenario every time or like let's not try to demean you as a child let's fucking work this together and i'm like yeah that's great let's do that just with him i couldn't really go to him for a lot of things like if i had a crush on somebody or if i wanted to like have the talk or whatever like i couldn't do that i had those talks with my mom all the time like i couldn't do that with him like i think one time i told him like i don't know i think he tried to have like the talk with me and he was just like women are evil <laughs> like, women I are, can't stand it. Women are evil. <laughs> Don't mess with. And I'm like, <sighs> says the man who's on his seventh relationship after my mom. But okay, that's great. Yeah, see, see, a Wait. lot of underlying mental issues. A lot of mental issues, man. It's crazy. It's just I don't even I don't even understand it myself. But it's not meant for me to understand. So, I, I could go on and on and on about it, but I, I won't. I won't harbor too much on it. It's okay. You, you, little look, you got plenty more opportunities to talk about it, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> that's some crazy ass shit. Like, I just. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Still not that for too long yet. Yeah, it, it probably feels a bit better, at least talking about it. It does. It definitely does. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you one other thing. I'll tell you I one other it. thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you missed the, yeah. you missed the, um, God, what is it called? The Super Guard? There we go, Super Guard. Oh! My brain just kept wanting to say Power Guard. I'm like, that's all not right. it. <laughs> nah, I got it. Snaggletooth wasn't helping at all, but I got it. Where's Coops, man? Where's Coops? <laughs> he's not He's not here yet. Coops would've been great for this. I'm tired of these fuzzies. Sorry, yeah. Getting tired of them, too. These fights take five years. They really fucking do. And this is, this is the last fucking one, either. Um, what was I, okay, but yeah, okay, I have a story though, and this is, this is, this is what's really, like, set it off for me too. And I was already set off, but this really fucking set it off for me. Um, fucking, one day, I get off the bus, and I think I'm at, I, I'm in high school at this point, I'm at, I get off the bus, and I ask my dad, he picks me up, like, in his car or whatever, and he's like, I'm like, how's your day, right? simple standard question like how's your day just being nice you know how's your day he's like don't ask me how my fucking day was he didn't say fuck but like don't ask me how my day was or whatever you always ask me how my day is you already know what it is stop asking me that and i'm like oh all right whatever so i just i just don't say anything and i can already feel like the energy in the car is just different like it's just it's just like negative vibes i don't want anything to do with this like at all so i just don't say anything after that then literally that same day literally the same fucking day i, I shit you not right my grandmother because we live in my grandmother's house right we live we live in there for you know yeah i already said we, we live in there for years right my grandmother comes in we're eating dinner and this is like a few hours later we're eating dinner and my grandmother comes in and she's she asks my, my dad a question and this is his mom, right? Like, this is his mom. This is the person who gave birth to him. You would think that he would be able to just do anything and everything for her, especially since he's living, might I add, rent-free in the house, right? For fucking years. Fucking years. Justified it, too, trying to live rent-free, even though other people have lived there, right? For years. Not rent-free. They've paid at least something, utility bill, whatever. She asks him a question. A simple question. I don't remember what the question is. 
You just ask him a question, right? He gets fucking pissed. Like, fucking pissed off that she dare ask him a fucking question, right? And he's like, you see me, I'm here eating dinner. I'm having a good time with, you know, with, with Christian and, and his sister or whatever. Why don't you ask me how my day was before you ask me a question? And right there, right fucking there, I swear to God, in my mind, I'm just like, it's never going to be enough. Like, it's just, there's no fucking winning with you. Literally isn't at all. Not at all. Like, you will argue just to fucking argue to be right about whatever the fuck you want to argue about. You don't even care at what cost. Like, because he's done that. Like, he's argued people out of fucking relationships. Like, my mom refuses to talk to him at all. Like, it got it got to one point where, like, they were arguing over the phone and I was living up here already. She just act like, my, my sister asked him a question, which then led to my mom asking him a question, which then led to him ranting for 15 minutes straight. And she was just like, yeah, no, I'm done. If you need anything, talk to the kids. Don't talk to me. And I was like, wow. And to this day, she just does not talk to him, like, at all. Who needs that mess in their life? Yeah, no. Nah, exactly, exactly. Who needs that shit, right? Yeah, like, at that moment, I was just like, I'm done. Like, I can't. Like... This is, this is incredible. This is incredible the way he thinks. Like, I would never... Like, the fucking mental gymnastics that he must do for himself in order to get to this position is is probably, like, exhausting. But, like, I, I don't know how the fuck he does shit like that. I just I just don't understand. Damn, I just thought of another thing, too, and I completely forgot. Yeah, I just, I just don't understand, like, how you, in one instance, say, ask me, like, don't ask me how my day is. You already know what it is. And then go to another person and be like, yo, ask me how my day is before you ask me to do something else. In the same fucking breath. Like, I just don't understand. Like, so fucking hypocritical. Disgust me, Brandon. <laughs> I <got you. laughs> Bruh, I just don't know. I just don't know. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. 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 Oh my god, they're still they're beating me in the QRTs. They got him. I'm about to say, they really have jumped you. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do for you. So now we got to take out this 40 HP crowd, or? No, the fuck we don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking him out. They all go. And then he goes away. Yeah, no, they're just a distraction. You don't have to actually fight them. And I wasn't oh, going yeah. to. I was not going to entertain that at all. I felt, I felt like as a child, I probably tried to fight that crowd. <laughs> Well, I don't know why, but I feel like that's that was the timeline. That was the time. <laughs> I think I did too, probably, honestly speaking. But like, nah, they have 40 HP. Usually they have 20, but even then, no. 20 or 40, no. And they're dealing like... Like, and the thing is too, since they're dealing like twice as much damage, if I just guarded and they didn't do twice as much damage, I'd take no damage. But because they're dealing two... And I guard, I take one damage, and they're hitting me five times. So that's like five HP gone if I'm not super guarding. So I'm not doing that. Man, 40 HP? Hell no. I understand, dude. I understand. Yeah. But I don't know. They kind of beat you up like fucking Power Puff Girls style. <laughs> they can jump me on sight. I catch this nigga breathing. Bullet that nigga's brain out. It's like, we're not, wait a minute. We're not grinding? We're not getting more XP for the level ups? I mean, we could. I was thinking, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, no, fuck it. I wanted to keep going with the story, but... Yeah, honestly, honestly, we've been going for two hours. We have been. This is this is, this is is gonna get split up one way or another. I don't know how. We'll figure it out. But it's just like... Paper Mario is so fucking long. It <laughs> is. <laughs> That's the, that is the thing about this game, I will admit. It is long, and people have complained about the backtracking, which um I'm kind of over with now. I don't know. I used to complain about it, but now I'm just over it. I'm just like, I I don't care anymore. It's, it's uh, I get like, it's a product of its time. It's padding things out because it's a GameCube game. But I mean, I don't know. I don't care. I like it. I guess you could say it's padding. For me, it's more like, it's more, RPGs just do that. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just something RPGs do. So like, because it's a tried and true RPG, of course, it's going to do it. That is true. Although, one thing about this, though, with the backtracking, I will admit, it doesn't have the best, like, fast travel to, like, backtrack. Like, you have to, like, if you wanted to go, say you wanted to go to fucking here from Rogueport, right? You have to go all the way down to the sewers, 
If you have the hammer build, oh wait, fuck. What? Nah, I'll go back. I'll go back. You have to go all the way down to the fucking sewers, get the fast travel pipe, and even then, um. Well, I guess it's not too bad. Wait, why, do, why did we go back? Grinding. I meant like just kill the enemies as we came through again. Like that. That's what I meant. I didn't uh, mean like we had to like circle around. Okay, well I was just I was just I was just keep going forward because there are other enemies up ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get that XP one one way or another. Uh, honestly, I don't feel like Paper Mario is a game where you have to grind anyway. So at least there's that. Uh... Mm, yes and no. But for hard mode, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can use all the you know badges. Yeah, to I gotta carry you. Gotta use all these fucking badges because I can only super guard so many fucking times. I know. Hey, you're right though. Like RPGs typically do that a lot. I just don't think Paper Mario has a good like like a good backtracking system like and i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna say breath of the wild even though i feel like i shouldn't but i could... should oh well that's not an rpg i see why it's not but... an rpg but it has RPG -like good back elements. it does have good back like you can literally spawn anywhere in the map yeah after but... you go to a place but see the thing about a game like paper mario though like the rooms are simple enough like it's just a hallway but it's yeah. how you interact with what's in the hallway that makes it special. So that's why backtracking. I guess they left backtracking in because you're still really playing the game. Yeah. Like in a game like Sonic, where things are very extremely linear, you go from like yeah. a little bit of gameplay and then to like a, a linear set piece and then a little bit of gameplay and then a linear set piece. That some is RPGs, true. Some RPGs are structured like that, mostly at the prologue, and then the rest of the game is your choices. You, you know, you decide to walk here. You decide to walk through the hallway like this. You decide to check the pipes and, you know, cut the grass and shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or other people will choose to just walk to the next town. It's up to you. And then whatever you see on your way there is part of your adventure. Like, in a way, it, it's, it had a little bit of heart. You know what I mean? It's like maybe they just left it there so you can actually have an adventure. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Like, people complain about backtracking, but then, like, also complain about you know sonic set pieces and i'm like but that sonic set pieces is to alleviate you from doing a you know too much because people don't like to do too much and then you get to see something cool but then people are like yeah but i'm gonna play the cool thing and i'm like you playing the cool thing is you just playing the character that's the cool thing true <laughs> whether you're backtracking or not i don't think it should ever matter if you like the game you like the game yeah oh because we're in widescreen we're seeing things we're not supposed to see <laughs> like her sliding back and forth yeah that's always fun to play with like camera perspectives and uh in video games right on our boundary break shit boundary break yeah exactly that's basically what this is could you imagine if koops was a real fucking koopa and went through all three of them like this oh you mean like on the first strike oh fuck yeah stand corrected <laughs> if he was a real koopa and oh <laughs> He was a real nigga and actually got the Glock. Right. How I did see. Jump up if he got the Glock. Oh wow, you took no damage on that. Koops has a built-in defense of one. I don't know why that baby be alive. <laughs> like he sold Koops to me. He's like, he has a built-in defense of one. <laughs> he has an extended this, warranty. This baby could fit one defense in this entire shell. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, sure. just slap the hood of, the hood of Coops. Just slap the hood of Coops, yeah. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, I wanted to talk about, since we're talking about game design, um, I want to talk about uh, future Paper Mario games from Sticker Star onward and why I think Super Paper Mario is just a better version of all of them. Uh, <laughs> and you're just like a Super Paper... Wait, 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 Christian. Yeah. Hold on to that. Can we, like, take a small little break? Sure, yeah, we can take a break. Excellent, because I, I need a bowl of cereal. I need a bowl of cereal! <laughs> Wait, give me one second. I'm gonna, uh, actually, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick, and then I'll probably get something to, I might get an ice cream cone. Wait, 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 are we gonna leave this in? <laughs> I'm gonna just keep, I'm just letting this all record. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna chop it all this up. I'm gonna chop it uh, all this up. You know, but yeah, we'll talk about it when we edit it. Okay, cool, cool. Excellent. <laughs> a few moments later. Chris, can I tell you a story? Yeah, sure. You can tell me a story while I have this riveting gameplay. <laughs> all right, buddy. Riveting. There's so, for some reason, I was compelled to message this um wait was this a week ago oh my god that was almost a week ago anyway 
I decided to message this um this lewd model, uh, e girl, it. if you will. Mm hmm. And you know what? I will leave it. I will leave it <clears throat> confess to this. I've I bought content. Look, bro, it's fine. We've all bought content. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shame in it. I've bought content. But, like, I sent her a message, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it, a playful one. It's, it's nothing crazy, right? I was just like, your DMs are open? That's scary. Which is which was my immediate reaction when I saw that I could message her. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> are you okay? Like, the world is scary. You have your DMs open yeah, and your line of work? Yeah, that's crazy. You're a brave soul. Oh fuck. Well, Coops is mm -hmm. up. I still have yet to get a reply, but I was just like, you know what? It's mm -hmm. okay. Well, keep trying, bro. I'm pretty sure she'll reply to you. I would. You're Thanks, a Christian. You're but I don't think I don't I don't think I'm looking for that kind of attention. I just wanted to see what was gonna happen. <laughs> Look, if you keep you keep doing it right, you egg her on, right? You just keep you keep you just say but you don't you don't come on too strong, you don't come on too weird, alright? All you gotta do is just say, Hey, I like your art. I think what you do is amazing, it's nice. Wanted to know if you uh, could just respond back to this. Okay, cool, thanks. And then I'll leave it at that. All right. And if she says something, you're in the game. And all of a sudden, this happens and that happens, and then you have a titty in your mouth, and then you'll be great. All right. It'll be great. Play. Whatever. Whatever would I do without you? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just, I just, I'm just out here giving, giving life, life, life advice. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. All right. So I can get this power punch. Watch, I never use it. Ever. Ever. <laughs> um, Reroll. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Does that thing spaz out for you? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. So, um... It's because of the HD textures. It doesn't load properly like it should. Yeah, it does that. It does that. Don't okay, worry about it. when you go back and forth between rooms real quick, it fucks my head all the way up. I'm sorry. Oh, hell no. Yeah, nah, fresh juice? Fuck that. Oh, you know what? While I'm doing this, might as well do this. Wait. True. Wait, you get something different how many times? Uh, all the time. So this is supposed to be a, a horse tail, which gives me 3 HP or FP or whatever. Um... But uh, since it's not a horse tail anymore, it can just be anything. It could be badges, it could be food, it could be whatever. Oh, I'll take that. What's up? It's quick. Oh, quick. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. God, I wish I had uh, insert partner here so I can get that badge. <laughs> Are you really not gonna? You're really not trying to spoil? I'm really not trying to spoil too much. I like how you're really committed to this. Thank you. Yeah, so, I mean, the way this series is going to work is basically, it's just like, it could be you, it could be Charles, it could be anybody it comes on, I just play the game, and, uh, I mean, we'll all keep tabs on, like, where we are in the game, <clears throat> but, um, yeah, just commentary and just whatever, we just talk about whatever, we talk about life, talk about games, talk about lewd, uh, anime women, <laughs> the anime no, women. No, 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 friend, no, this is no anime lady. Like, this lady does, like, she physical lewd content. How lewd? No, she, like, straight up f***ed herself, like... Oh! Yeah. DM me that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Please! You're... <laughs> I don't know what to say to you. Said, oh! <laughs> DM me that shit. You don't, have to, you don't have to put her name out, just... Tell me yeah. off camera. <laughs> All right, edit it out. I don't give a fuck. I have that. Vo I have that voice line saved up somewhere on my computer from that one episode of SpongeBob where Pachi the pirate is um he's he's Pachi. like yeah Pachi. You mean Patchy the pirate? Pa well, he's pronounced it as Pachi. That's I'm sorry. He's just I, I just I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? Don't apologize. It's okay. Tomato tomato, right? Yeah, and don't get me started on how I pronounce UTZ chips. Anyway, Christian. Any yeah. Anyway, uh, I have that voice clip of Patchy um, eating Uts chips when he was talking about that one time. <laughs> um, 
No, it was the one time where he got like um, fan mail or whatever, and then the guy was like, he he like undocks the person who uh, sent the who uh, sent the letter, and the narrator is like, insert name and address here or whatever. And I just have that voice line saved somewhere on my computer. Somewhere. You know, because of course you do. Yeah, <laughs> I had to use it for an XP video because uh, Trey said his full name out loud, and I was like, oh my god, like his his whole <laughs> government name. And I'm like, all right, thanks, Trey. Thanks for the work. <laughs> yep. Thanks for making me put in labor. Yo, in what context? Like, what? When would you ever have to say your full government name <laughs> in the middle of a conversation with a per with your cousin, no less? So we were playing. I remember what it was too. It was Sonic uh, Mania, and we were at the end credit scene, and he noticed like the names were kind of funny or whatever. So he started talking about his name. Basically, his whole name is like. They're all, like, advertisements for food because they're all, like, name brands or whatever. So, like, his first name is a name brand for, I think, like, a chocolate bar or whatever. And then his, um, his middle name, I don't know, something like that. It's, like, a chocolate bar, a restaurant, and then a fast food restaurant is his last name. And he basically said his whole name out loud as we were looking at the credit scene. I'm like, all right, thanks, Trey. It's great. I'm just gonna have to edit that. It's okay. So, it was fine. I don't I mean, even... like. Yeah, it worked out definitely, but yeah, it was a good bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It hit its mark. Okay, Ta uh, HP's eight. Attack is four. He's in the air. I don't like it. Get down. I kind of want to know what this is. This ice cream is good. Wait, what did you... I'm sorry, what item did you, did you just use? A mystery. Oh. Well, that was pointless. Very. Yeah. Looks like I'll just have to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's resort, let's resort to murder. As we usually do on this channel. I love to see the commitment. Yeah. Oh! I forgot, I was going to talk about uh, Super Mario and the future yes. of Mario. Okay, so, um, fuck. So, <laughs> okay, don't super guard that. Um, oh, one enemy? Why one enemy? Whatever. Um, so yeah, I think Super Paper Mario is a better, like, adventure RPG, or just, like, just, it, just a better RPG than Sticker Star Onward. Um, for one, Super Paper Mario knows what it wants to be, right? And the level design, to me, in my opinion, re reinforces that. So, it's basically like, you know, you're going through these linear worlds, right? Everything's pretty much flat unless you switch over to 3D Mario, which is, which is like a cool little gimmick or whatever. But it's played like a traditional Super Mario Bros. game. You have a high score counter, you fight enemies in the field in the overworld, but there are RPG-like elements to it. You have items, you have inventory, you do have a level up system based off the high score point counter or whatever, which is pretty cool. So every time you reach a certain amount of points, um, you level up either your HP, which is another RPG-like element to the game, or you level up your power, which is, which is cool, you know? You have partners, sort of kind of with the pixels which is kind of an rpg element as well there's, there's a lot of things to it that are rpg-esque but there's that adventure element to it that that's there so i'm like okay so you have all these rpg elements but what about the adventure element right you're fighting on the battle like you're fighting on the field or whatever how does that work so the the level design in my in my opinion reinforces that oh nice because everything is flat everything plays like a 2d platformer which i think is really really good so even though there are no like you transition to like a turn-based RPG mechanic. You do fight, you know, in the overworld. There's platforming challenges. I'm trying to say there's like pla there's like puzzles and stuff in the overworld. There's a lot of things to it that make it that still make it feel like it is like a Mario game, and it feels like a like a traditional 2D platformer. It feels like a like like you're solving pu puzzles like an adventure game, but also kind of like an RPG in a way. And it it just it just comes together very well in a way that makes a lot of sense and it it has its own identity it has its own purpose it has its own sense of scope and adventure and it works really well and it still feels like a paper mario game and the writing is still there everything is still there right? See, the writing is definitely still there because that's the part that really makes everyone happy about it go ahead do your thing 
A BB boy! Yeah! My neighbors hate me anyway. You know what? You're right. You're like in the basement. <laughs> I went upstairs and my sister's asleep on the couch. <laughs> oh, uh, well, good morning to her. Yep. Good 1 a.m. to you. <laughs> but yeah. Super Mario is great. And it just it just it just works really well. Um, the overworld, the, the fights, the level up system. It's different, but it's not too different enough for me to be annoyed by it. Like the changes make sense. And the the over like if it was if Super Paper Mario played the way that it did, but it had like the thousand year door of like level design and backtracking, then I'd probably be a little upset about it. But I don't know. It just it just works well. It works well on the Wii, I think. It aesthetically looks great. Um, it controls really well. It's just a good game. It's a good. It's a fun time. Sticker Star Onward baffles the fuck out of me. Cause, and I've and I've said this before. It's a bunch of different people about why I hate Sticker Star. But um, mm -hmm. you know, Sticker Star, and I haven't. I've played it. I own it, and I don't intend on beating it. Cause I really don't care. Um. <laughs> But, uh, I really don't care. I really don't. Because, um, the, the way that you fight in the game is like, okay, so you fight, you go, you fight, you, you, you attack an enemy in the overworld, leads into a battle transition or whatever, just like this game. When you fight them, you don't have partners, you don't have, uh, FP or anything, you don't have any intricate battle system. All you have is HP and items. It's basically all you have. And at the end of the fight, you don't get XP, you get coins. Oh, and you got the stickers. The stickers are basically like your action command, whatever. Like, that's basically your jump, your hammer, all that. And there's different stickers. You use up one sticker, that sticker's gone. You have to collect more stickers in order to fight. Stickers are literally everywhere. They're in the overworld. I'll take this end coupon. They're literally everywhere. They're in the overworld. You could buy them in stores. And the only thing you get from battles is coins, which you use to then get stickers. Which you then use to fight enemies, to then get coins, to then get stickers, stickers, stickers yeah. to then get to fight battle, and it's just a repetitive thing. It's it's a repetitive loop that feeds in on itself with no sense of reward, like at all. And I'm like, at one point in the game, I was just like, I don't feel like fighting anything. I am not. I'm. I do not feel incentivized to fight. Meanwhile, the thousand year door is my fucking serotonin. Like I fucking love this battle. Like I love this battle system to death. And it's just, I just, I, ugh. Yeah. Ugh. so Sick. good. Ugh. It's like, it's like liquid sex, man. I just fucking love it. I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> I don't know what to say to me either. Ugh. Then he's eating ice cream <laughs> mid-sentence. <laughs> has the nerve to, has the nerve to moan about it. <laughs> I just love, uh, bro, this game's just, this game's amazing. It's a tradition to play this game at least once a year. Even if it's even if I it's not a spoken. Your, this is your once. Yo, this soundtrack goes crazy. This soundtrack goes crazy, bro. Can't flee this fight. Oh yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> Just love me for who I am, okay? Not for <laughs> not for what I'm not. Look, but, uh, I know we were getting deep earlier. Mm-hmm. But, but no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, these guys can kind of be a headache now that they have 2 HP. But uh, we're going to work with it. And they still have a defensive 1. Yeah, but yeah I'm about to say, don't we do like hella damage? Yeah, they do like 4 damage now. And they do the thing where they throw the bone over and over and fucking over again. Which does, I think, 2 now. Instead of 1. Or instead of... Well, yeah. Well, yeah, instead of 1. But the 1 bone is 4. And the multiple bones are like 2 now. Which is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna do this. What? Whoa. Oh, okay. That really happened to you. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh, no! She consumed it! How you finna carry this, man? Wait. Were you trying to? Yeah. Why were you? Why were you trying to friggin' super guard? Cause I'm a madman. I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking yeah do that, please. Oh wow. 
Wow. Yeah. Okay, I can do this. Really? I just I just threw them in. So sorry. It's okay. Whoa. That's a classic sound effect. Yeah. I think that's the sound when um uh, Mario had the cape in um Super Mario World. And like when you're flying and you're going up and down. Oh, like, I think it, it is. It yeah. sounds like that. You know what's cool about this too? This game, um, Mario's design is based off of the small Mario sprite from Super Mario World. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it looks really good too. It does. I love it. And then the the victory theme is also a remix of uh, when you defeat a level in Super Mario World. Yep. And then, and this, yeah. You know what? It's slick. Yeah. I like it. I love it. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> nice. I just have to be nice with it. That's all I gotta do. See? I just gotta be nice with it. You know what, man? If, if, if that's how you want to play, if that's how you want to live your life. <laughs> that's how you want to live your life. It is. Oh, big man. Big man. Please die. Damn it. We couldn't, like, do two bounces because we're huge? Oh, my God. Uh, no. Oh, God. I fought, I fought, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Wait, we're not gonna kill the, the red one? Oh, the battle doesn't end. No, the battle won't end if I kill him. I don't think it will. Mm. Um okay. It looks like the only option is healing. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna do sweet treat. I'm fucking Wait, so this being, I'm about to say this being big affect how this goes. I don't think so. There's the attack reticles right there. Oh god. I need more than four, they can hit me in four. Okay, cool. He said I need more than four. They could hit me at four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they could murder you. Oh my god. Ah! Wow. Thank you didn't you. deserve it. <laughs> you didn't deserve it. Shut up. I deserve all of this. I deserve it. You clearly are not playing to win. You did not deserve any of this. <laughs> oh god. Christian. No! All right, well, game over. First, first game me. over. Wow, the practice run, I didn't get a single game over until chapter two. What the fuck? You know, it's okay. Oh, 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 oh my God. Is that a banger? <laughs> yeah, it you is. Tell me that. You can't tell me that title screen music don't go. Bro, I fucking wash dishes to this shit, bro. I've been inspired. <laughs> I'm about to clean my ass off tomorrow. You have no idea. I'm telling you, bro. Mm -mm. I got the whole soundtrack saved on YouTube. Of course. As it should be. Mm -hmm. So so it was written. <laughs> and so it shall be.